I will continue with the why cases. Why length affects the period? Why amplitude cannot? Why mass cannot? Why free flexation can? I will briefly explain them. First, we are going to study how length changes or affects or does not affect the period of simple pendulum. So we are going to consider that there are two uh, simple pendulums. One of them has a length of uh, L1 just like this one. Other one has a length of L2 as you see second one. This is the second one. This is the first one. So second one is longer in length than the other one. So we are going to keep all other parameters the same. A mass of the bob is the same. Uh, amplitudes are the same. Both have the same amplitude of theta. Uh, free fall accelerations are the same. Only one quantity is different, which is the length of the pendulum. So now, uh, Remember, uh, the reason for uh, simple harmonic motion of the simple pendulum was the restoring force. Now let's start with the restoring force. The equation for restoring force is mg sine theta. So we said it in section 1. Because both pendulums have the same mass, uh, same uh, amplitude, and same free fall acceleration, both uh, pendulums will have the same uh, restoring force. So both first and second pendulum will have a restoring force which is equal to mg sine theta. But uh, if we divide this uh, restoring force by the mass, we will get the acceleration of these uh, pendulums. Uh, because uh, both uh, pendulums have the same mass m, if we divide the restoring force by the mass, a mass simplified, you will get that both pendulums will have the same acceleration, pendulum 1 and pendulum 2. Even if their masses are different, uh, they have the same uh, or equal accelerations, which is equal to g sine theta. The reason is what? The mass will simplify according to the Newton's second law, f over m. So then we can say that yes, first pendulum and second pendulum both will have the same acceleration. However, uh, if we check their uh, arc lengths traveled by the bob, shorter pendulum, which is L1, will have a shorter arc length delta S1, but longer pendulum, which is L2, has a length of L2, has a longer arc length. Then we can say that shorter pendulum, L1, has a shorter arc length delta S1, so bob of this pendulum will travel a shorter distance, but the longer pendulum, which is second pendulum, has a longer arc length. That's why bob of this pendulum will travel a longer distance. Uh, but their accelerations are equal. Both have the same acceleration. So uh, shorter pendulum will have equal acceleration with the longer pendulum. Longer pendulum will have an equal acceleration with the shorter pendulum. So now, now consider this. Uh, shorter arc length, longer uh, arc length, but accelerations are the same. What does acceleration mean? How quickly uh, this bob uh, speeds up. That's why this uh, first pair bob will reach the equilibrium position earlier than the second bob because second bob will travel a longer distance than the first bob. For that reason, for that reason, the shorter pendulum will travel from this position to that position in a shorter, shorter time. So that's why it will have a shorter period. But longer pendulum, longer pendulum has a longer arc length because the accelerations are equal. Longer one will travel distance in a longer time. That's why a longer travel time means longer period, which means the pendulum which has a longer length so we'll have a greater or longer period. That's why increasing length of the pendulum causes an increase in the period of the pendulum. The first one is length. Yes, length has an effect on the period. Greater length means greater uh, period. Shorter length means shorter period. The second quantity which we are going to study is the amplitude. So all other quantities will be kept constant, masses are equal, lengths are equal, free fall accelerations are equal, only amplitudes are different as you see. One uh, pendulum has a long shorter 
amplitude. Other pendulum has a longer amplitude as you see. Second pendulum has a longer amplitude, but the first pendulum has a shorter amplitude. So the pendulum vibrating with a smaller amplitude, which is theta one, of course will have a smaller restoring force because theta one is less than theta two. Remember equation for restoring force, it was mg sine theta, m's are the same, g's are the same, only thetas are different. Theta one is less than theta two. That's why we are going to say that pendulum vibrating with smaller amplitude will have a smaller restoring force. But the pendulum, which is vibrating with a greater amplitude will have a greater restoring force, which is mg, mg sine theta 2, because theta 1 is less than theta 2, restoring force of the first pendulum will be less than restoring force of the second pendulum. What about their accelerations? If we divide this equation, force equation by mass, masses will simplify, so the Pendulum with a smaller amplitude will have a smaller acceleration, which is g sine theta 1, but the pendulum vibrating with a greater amplitude will have a greater acceleration, which is g sine theta 2. And now let's check the arc length. The first pendulum, pendulum vibrating with smaller amplitude, this theta, the, the pendulum vibrating with theta 1 will have a shorter uh, arc length, as you see, this arc length, this arc length is shorter, delta S1 is shorter than delta S2, delta S2 is longer. That's why we are going to say that the pendulum vibrating with smaller amplitude has a shorter arc length, delta S1, but the pendulum which has a greater amplitude will have a longer arc length, delta S2. Now check them, smaller acceleration, shorter arc length, greater acceleration, longer arc length, which means in here on the, uh, for the pendulum vibrating with smaller amplitude, the effects of two increasing quantities, what are those two increasing quantities, pardon, decreasing quantities, smaller acceleration, shorter arc length, yani this pop, the first one, travels a shorter distance but a smaller acceleration, but the, one, the second pendulum, which is a longer arc length through, yes, distance is longer, however, it moves with a greater acceleration, which means average speed of this one is low, greater than that one. So, the effect of two increase, decreasing quantities for the shore, for the, sm, the uh, pendulum, which is a smaller, vibrating with smaller amplitude, will cancel, and period remains the same. And also, for the pendulum vibrating with greater amplitude, the effects of these two increasing quantities again will cancel, that's why period remains the same. This tells you that amplitude of the pendulum has no effect on the period of the pendulum for angles less than 15 degrees. And Galilei is the first scientist, first person who noticed that the motion of the pendulum depends on its length and it's independent of its amplitude. The third parameter is the mass. We are going to uh, change the mass. Uh, one pendulum will have a, a, a heavier bob than the other one. First pendulum M1 will have uh, a greater bob, heavier mass than the second pendulum which is M2. Uh, now let's uh, first uh, have all, by the time all other quantities are the same, lengths are equal, amplitudes are equal, even free fall exhalations are equal. Uh, the heavier mass will have a greater restoring force, because remember equation for restoring force is mg sine theta, so restoring force for the heavier um, pendulum or heavier bath will be m1g sine theta, but for lighter uh, one, it's going to be M2G sine theta, that's why lighter mass will have a smaller restoring force. If we divide this uh, force by the mass, M1G sine theta by M1, M2G sine theta by M2, so masses will simplify, that's why both, um, both uh, pendulums will have equal uh, for, for equal accelerations, which is g sine theta. So, heavier mass will have the same acceleration with the lighter mass, which is g sine theta, or uh, 
the uh, lighter mass will have the same exhalation with the heavier one with G sine theta. Their exhalations are equal. Even their starting force are different. Exhalations are equal. What about the arc lengths? Both uh, pendulums will have the same arc length because their amplitudes are the same. And so now check. Arc lengths are equal. Let's check the uh, lighter mass. Because the arc lengths are equal, this le arc length and that the arc lengths are equal, the heavier mass will have uh, the same acceleration with the lighter one. So arc lengths are equal, accelerations are equal, which means both will travel the distance in equal time interval, which means they will have the same period once again. So their arc lengths are equal, their accelerations are equal. That's why time of travel from this position, that position will be equal. So if time of travels are equal, which means period of both pendulums are equal. That's why mass has no effect on the period of a simple pendulum. And last quantity is the free fall acceleration. So uh, pendulums will this time will have same mass, same length, same amplitudes. Only they will be in different uh, environments. So in different uh, free fall accelerations, just like one of them is on the moon, the other one is on the earth. So uh, say that smaller gravity, this is on the moon smaller gravity, greater gravity on the Earth. So there are two identical pendulums, but at different environments. Uh, if the free fall acceleration is smaller, of course, the stunning force will be smaller according to the equation m g1 sine theta. But the pendulum on the Earth will have a greater stunning force, which is m g2 sine theta, because g2 is greater than G1, so restoring force on the Earth will be greater than restoring force on the Moon. What about accelerations? If we divide these uh, forces by masses, forces by masses mass simplify, again their accelerations will be different. So the pendulum on the Moon, which is smaller gravity, will have a smaller acceleration, G1 sine theta, but the pendulum on, on Earth, which is a greater gravity, will have a greater acceleration, which is G2 sine theta. What about arc lengths? Arc lengths are equal, same arc lengths they have because we did these uh, amplitudes are equal. If amplitudes and lengths are equal, which means arc lengths are also equal, both have the same arc length. Now check. The pendulum on the moon, which is smaller gravity, has the same arc length but smaller acceleration. What does smaller acceleration mean? Slower. It is a slower pendulum. If it is slower, time of travel is longer. So that's why longer travel time on the moon, so longer period on the moon, or longer period in an environment of a smaller gravity. But on the Earth, so they have the same arc length, but on the Earth it's a greater acceleration. A greater acceleration means so moving faster. This one is moving faster. If it is moving faster, so shorter travel time, shorter period. That's why two identical pendulums, one of them is on the Earth, the other one is on the Moon. So the one on the Earth will have a greater acceleration and that's why it will move in a shorter time, shorter period. That's why we will say that free fall acceleration affects, yes, affects the period and also we can say that the pendulum in a greater free fall acceleration will have a shorter Period. So on the Earth, for example, greater free fall acceleration on the Earth, for example, compared to uh, Moon, has a shorter period, but on the Moon, it is a longer period. And then, now let's make it able. Length. Length has an effect on the period? Yes. What about amplitude? Has an effect on the period? No. What about mass of the bulb? Has an effect on the period? No. What about free fall acceleration of the environment? Has an effect on the period? Yes. So two quantities, yes, but other two quantities, no. That's why equation for the amplitude will include these two quantities. One of them is the length, the other one is free fall acceleration. So a change in the length affects the period, a change in free fall acceleration also affects the period. That's why period of a simple pendulum includes length as you see 
and also free flexation g as you see so equation of the period is 2 pi inside the root l over g